What was that? How dare you talk to my fiance like that? You think you're talking to Michael Hanover? I have no idea. I would say that you're my mom, a woman that I love and a woman that I admire more than anyone else, but I don't know who this woman is. Because of this mean, vindictive person that you are right now, that's not the woman that raised me. And what you need to do right now is you need to walk into that room and apologize to Candace. You know damn well I'm not gonna go in that room. What? But please be clear, you're no longer invited to our wedding. I love that woman. And I'm gonna marry her whether you like it or not. to be said. True. And baby, I respect and love you so much for standing up for me like that. But I can't marry you, Michael. Not like this. Baby, this is no way to start a life together. What are you saying? You have to go in there and apologize to your mother now. Hell no. She should be apologizing to you. Why are you defending her? Because I am a mother, Michael. And I love my son more than anything in the world. And I can't even imagine pain I would feel if Duke told me I wasn't invited to his wedding. So you know what? She may never like me. She may never think that I am good enough for her son. But what mother does? She has her flaws, Michael, yes, but she is the reason that you have become the man that you are and the man that I love so much. She should still be apologizing to you. She won't, Michael. She is a proud woman, which means it is your place to walk in there and say, I'm sorry. I was out of line. Um, <laughs> you're right, Candace. I, uh, I mean, I thought you were good enough for my son. Until now. When you insist on the right way instead of your own way, nine times out of ten, you score.